this is not six things we learned. This is not the match review because it's very rare I ever get pissed off to the point that I am right now. And I wanna do six things we learned for this game, which I will do tomorrow. But I also wanna talk more from an emotional standpoint because right now, for me to go through my little notes that I've done for this game, to pick out six individual things to make individual points about would be an injustice to the way I feel about the loss that we've just witnessed. Dynamo Zagreb one, Chelsea nil. First of all, Congratulations to Dynamo Zagreb. Congratulations to their fans in the stadium, outside the stadium, on the streets in Croatia, watching in bars, wherever you've been watching. If you're a Dynamo Zagreb fan, congratulations. I understand this is a big win, a massive scalp. And the reason I'm not doing my normal match review, this game was one of those as a fan where I very rarely get peed off to the point where I'm like, I knew this was coming. I can see this free kick, I can see this pass, I can see this corner before anything even happens. I'm not a football manager. I'm not, I've got no badges. I've got nothing, I'm just a fan. But when you see the same things over and over again with players who are worth substantial amounts of money on significant wages, and then you compare it to the Dynamo Zagreb team, which again, this channel is about me being a fan. These are my reactions. These are my thoughts and feelings about Chelsea Football Club. I don't know any of those Dynamo Zagreb players, but there is a very, very key thing here that we need to remember about why Chelsea have lost this game. And as much as I will go into detail about the six things that I learned from this defeat in Zagreb in the Champions League opening game, Chelsea's third away defeat of the season only one clean sheet in the whole season. And even that was a game where we didn't play very well. So my concern at this point is that when I watch a team like Dynamo Zagreb who are playing every pass, every run, every tackle, every shot as if it is the last thing they're gonna do on this planet and I compare it to the Chelsea team, there isn't six things that we learned, there is one. And that one thing is solely mentality. When you compare the way that those Zagreb players ran around the pitch today, the way they conducted themselves compared to what we saw from Chelsea, it was evident who was going to win that game. I said it in my preview. When you go to a place like this, you've got to remember that as much as they're the fourth seed and we were champions of this entire competition two years ago or one year ago, one and a bit years ago, it doesn't mean anything. These guys won their league. When Chelsea come into town, not only are they ready to like bring the party poppers out for Mateo Kovacic, but this is like their final. Dynamo Zagreb players, the manager, the fans, everybody knows they're not going to be there in May looking at the final. When Chelsea come into town, there is added impetus. But when it comes to these kind of matches, there shouldn't need to be impetus. And the reason I'm so fuming and the reason I've even done the first time ever on this channel, we've lost matches before. I've done six things we learned straight after or... I've waited till the next day because I feel the way I feel now. I'm angry, I'm mad, I'm sad, I'm disappointed, I'm confused. But this was one of the only times ever where I've watched Chelsea and every time we had the ball, I've predicted the player it's gonna be passed to, the way it's gonna go in terms of like, whether it's a cross, the free kick at the end of the game, Hakim Ziyech just hits one into the wall. I, I literally saw it as soon as he was there with Rhys James, even the commentary were taking the Michael Bloody Owen out of what was going on there. He knew exactly what he was going to do. And what does he go and do? Hits it into the wall and the defender heads it away. Chelsea are so predictable. So predictable to the point where, again, these Dynamo Zagreb players wanted this match as if it was the Champions League final. And what did Chelsea not do? Which is the reason why we lost this game. We dominated possession. We had more shots on target than they did. And even then... The only time I thought we were going to score was the Mason Mount volley, the brilliant save from the goalkeeper. Comes out to Hakim Ziyech and again, he hits it straight at the keeper, but he was offside. It would never have counted anyway. The only other goal I thought that was going to be in the game was when their player had, had a shot from outside the area. Phone's going absolutely nuts. And Kepa Ariza Balaga makes the save. And this is not any kind of surprise to me. And again, the reason I've done this video in this format is because I literally just wanted to offload to you lot about my disappointment, my frustration. In terms of footballing analysis, I even said it earlier on today on Twitter where Chelsea youth were beaten 4-1 
by Dynamo Zagreb. I looked through the replies on the official Chelsea Twitter account from people and I'm like, there's no way that we can expect our academy, our youth to ever grow into flourishing footballers when they live their whole lives on their phone and then they look on social media and all they're getting is abuse for a 4-1 defeat in Croatia. They might as well have gone to Havara and had a little party on the beach or whatever it is, but when it comes to mentality, and this is why I got so frustrated on Twitter about the way the youth team were being bashed. When it comes to mentality, it is one thing being a player for one of the biggest clubs in the world, one of the biggest clubs in Europe, but at the same time, when you're out there, you can't disrespect your opponents. And I feel as though it was only the last 20 minutes of this game where Chelsea actually went for it. And the, the main thing here, we're doing the same things over and over again to the point where individuals seem to be forgetting the ability they have. And I think what this game needed was a player to take the game between their front teeth and actually go and do something that was different to the game plan. And again, this is why I'm not doing six things we learned because I want to watch this game again. I watch games back because even though I'm not a football analyst, I want to actually see the things that I think I know what I'm talking about so that when I talk to you about it, at least I can back it up even if I'm wrong and you guys disagree. So what I saw out there was a game plan, knowing that we were going to be in a hostile atmosphere, knowing maybe that all of these guys were going to give 110%, but we keep going to the side. There is no dynamic run, and even if there was a run that goes against the way that we structure ourselves positionally in the box and outside of the box, there wasn't even an attempt from anybody to put the ball into a different kind of area, to play a different kind of pass. And I think so there is a proper takeaway so that you guys understand how I feel about this. These Chelsea players disrespected our opposition tonight. We did not even for one second think that deviate in a way from the plan to use individual brilliance for someone to actually be a leader out there and do something a bit different. We need that in order for something to work when things aren't going our way. There's a reason we lost at Leeds. There's a reason we lost at Southampton. There's a reason we lost this game tonight. Nobody is taking ownership of bad situations. We don't change anything. And sometimes you can blame Tuchel all you like. And I want to go into this in the next video. But sometimes in games like this, it's more about heart. It's more about determination. And I think tonight, Chelsea disrespected our opponents. Congratulations to Zagreb. I'm fuming. And I'll talk about this tomorrow. Come on, you blues.